What is up everyone and welcome to my next video, the Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards playthrough. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys are again <laughs> noticing it that I went to these levels so if you guys put two two together on that one you probably know that I probably did recording and did not go through and unfortunately I gotta do it again. Hooray! It's like my fifth time too. Which kind of sucks, but you know what? Let's see if I can get it this time. And I'm not sure if I had this uh, exact layout in my last video, but what I plan to uh, do in uh, different videos, I want to keep changing the layout from time to time. You know, just to jazz it up a bit. But anyways, get out of here. Anyways, you're going to need the bomb ability, and that's the only bomb ability I believe in this level. So you want to pick that up, and later on you'll be uh, introduced to the spark ability. And I think the second floor. Why are you always following me, the board? But anyway, it's time to go in this big, um, big building. This old spaceship, whatever this thing is. What you can do in this room is just jump around. You honestly, sh you shouldn't get hit unless you're being very careless. Which I guess for me, that tends to be nine times out of ten. <laughs> so I can't really talk much. But anyways, um, yeah, in this room. Just avoid the shots from the. I think they call shots though, if I'm correct. Yeah, it should be. And then in the second room, this is where you'll find your first crystal. Right in that little area. And then, like I said before, that. Uh, unfortunately, I tried recording and. It's been screwing up all this time. Like, I, I tried like five times and it just didn't work. And because of that, I just haven't been, uh, like, uploading videos. I've just been, you know, a little busy with work and other stuff. But anyways, um, right there, that's the spark ability. You combine the uh, bomb and spark, you get the light bulb ability. If you ask me, it's pretty dang useless. And actually, I would actually argue more that it's underutilized. But anyways, you go down there, yeah, you get the first crystal. Unfortunately, it's a blue star for me. But anyways, this is why I say it's underutilized. In this room, you have Alan in the back. She's looking at the wall. What you need to do is that if you have the, a light bulb ability, you end up lighting up the room. She actually made a drawing, three drawings to be more exact, on the wall. So you have, well, you have a water droplet, a star, and a tree. You go into the next room, and by the way, I love how she just draws in the dark too. Like, she just, like, most people want to draw in the light. She's just a weird, awkward child that will try to draw in the dark. Or maybe that's just a norm. Or at least not norm, but some people do that. To me, that just still seems weird. But anyway, you see these uh, buttons that have these markings on them? If you follow them from left to right, um, in the last room, how there's a water droplet, then a star, and then a tree, and it will change, um, I believe, through, I guess, different playthroughs, but it will change, it won't be the same thing. But anyways, you end up getting crystal. But this is why I said that this ability is so underutilized, because it could have been good for, like, puzzle mechanics or something like that, where, like, you're in dark areas and then it gives you, like, hints or secrets, and uh, you can only see it once you light up the room. And you, that's the only time you actually use this ability. And overall, it's not that good ability when it comes to like, attacking people. So you have to go up close just to hit them. And it does like once you um, the light bulb breaks, it does cause like a little like shrapnel, but it's pretty small radius of the attack. Yeah, I can show you right here. Like, let me say right here. I don't think you hit me. Well, actually, that's not too bad. But still, there's better abilities out there. Anyway, let me just kill him. Ow! Yeah, once you defeat him, you get the last crystal. Should I really grab it? Yeah, let me grab it. Oh, uh, but anyways, uh, this recording, just in case you guys are wondering, I made this recording um, after E3. So yeah, I'm actually kind of stoked on uh, some of the stuff that was shown off. At least if I want to discuss on the Nintendo side, I'm so damn stoked that they actually finally started uh, making another Metroid game. Because actually, I, well, to be more exact, I played the first Metro game I played, and of course I grabbed the Red Star. At least I got an extra life out of it. The first Metro game I played was um, Metroid Prime 2. I played a little bit, and I played uh, some multiplayer in that game. And I, and I enjoyed it, but then um, when Super Metroid was released for the Wii U Virtual Console, that's why I actually played the 2D version, and my god, that game is freaking fun as hell. Like, I had it for, I want to say two, three years, and I did like maybe five or six playthroughs of it. Like, I just can't get enough of Metroid, honestly, I'm starting to enjoy the series a lot. Now, oh, but anyways, um, I'm pretty stoked about the Kirby game, too. I do like the the whole fact that they're actually bringing back, you know, the whole, uh, 
like the ability combination. I know that it's been in um, certain other Kirby games. I don't think it's been in a lot of them, but I've always been a sucker for at least uh, the Kirby games that have like you know dual combination. But I do like the whole idea that you can you know have uh, animal buddies that can you know be your partners. So kind of like Kirby Dream Land 2, but they, I don't think it's, like, I actually didn't see how it fully worked, but I guess it can work, like, you know, once you get them, they're always with you throughout the game. It's not like, oh, you have to wait till you get to a certain area, and then, uh, in, like, Dream Land 3, you have to get into a room that has those animal friends. You just, uh, go to a random enemy, you just, I guess, toss a heart, and then they become a partner. And one thing I am wondering is that, can they be controlled by, you know, actual human players? If that's the case, then that's actually pretty cool. But yeah, let me focus on this boss. This boss is also called Pick. Stop hitting me. Get away. Wow, see, that's why I said it's useless. You jump into him and you get hurt. Ah, well, whatever. I should be able to win even if I keep jumping at them. Who should be the weakest right now? At least the most damage. Ow. Okay, this ability sucks. There you go. Run. Kirby, you only got two hits. I hit him, hit him. Oh, are you kidding me? You're like an inch away. Ah, great. This uh, little attack pattern. Oh, damn. Ooh, I thought he was going to hit me. Or it. Whatever this weird pixelated creature is. Ooh, he's going to touch me. Get away. How are you not down yet? I love how they can't hit me. This is probably the, the most useless attack pattern, because, or at least the, the red one has a good idea. The green one, doing the, the dumbest thing ever, just doing a horizontal slash when, you know, you're not at my level. Get out of here. You're useless. You're the weak one in the group. I know I took down the blue one at first, but you honestly the dumbest one. Now, give me that tomato. Now, what I plan to do, because unfortunately, seeing how I did go through this level already, that uh, I had to back out a bit and uh, go to the cutscene so you guys can at least see it. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. And I think I showed... Actually, no, I shouldn't have shown it off before. But anyways, if you go to the theater mode, it shows all the cutscene that you already went through. Like the beginning uh, cutscene, you have Dark Shadow. And then when uh, Ribbon meets up with Kirby. Kirby's quest. But anyways, let's just go on. Um, I believe the cutscene that we need to go to is Desert Desserts. I love how Dee Dee just shrugs like, I don't care, just leave Kirby. We don't need him. And you know, Kirby should have just... <laughs> they just should have had Kirby just chase after them. That actually would have been hilarious if Kirby just went after them trying to eat them. It'd be game over. And does anybody find it wrong? Actually, no. I don't know what part of meat uh, that was. But I don't know, for some reason, I need to see the meat again. Because if it's like a poultry meat, I'm just thinking to myself... You know you're eating your kind. Also, it was just me, and I'm just thinking to myself. You know, it's, it, you shouldn't put be eating that eating uh, that meat because that could just be your family. That could be your dad you're eating. But anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. Um. Oh, and also, this is another thing I want to talk about. I don't like the fact that you cannot back out. Like right now, I'm pressing multiple buttons. I'm not sure there's like a button combination that I never once figured out. But you can't back out of this. You know the whole the game of it. You can't go to the tile screen, which makes no sense. You have to turn off the game. That's just seem like a weird oversight on their part. But anyway, let's just get started. Oh yeah, I forgot I tossed out my ability. Let me get this boulder then. Drop a huge stone in the water, or I guess a little puddle in this case. This must be rude, just drop, drop yourself right into the hole and just crush all the enemies that's inside. Yeah, I was kind of I was kind of afraid that he was going to hit me before that whole slide animation ended. Let me grab you, actually. Yeah, actually, I don't know. I wouldn't say that's probably a poultry meat. It's probably like a beef or something like that. But anyway, let me get the flamethrower. I prefer to use that overall when I'm playing this game. 
Damn it! I try to be fair to go like this. Oh, wrong move. And I'm gonna try to do that, but just turn around and just smack them with a sword like this. Oh, just move on. Like it was nothing. Let's do it again. Alright, let me just start slashing. Be lost a lot more quicker if I just do that. Oh, if you hang to the left right here to fly up, you'll find your first crystal. Remember, I think you just fly up. Let's see if I can make it. Yeah. You can just avoid those green, slimy, bowling ball looking things. If you feel like it's just going too slow for you. Oh, get this guy. You're going to need him later on. You're going to need the ice ability and the bomb ability combined just to unlock. Or not unlock, just break this little platform or this object. So then you can get to one of those slime balls I was talking about earlier. Oh, and don't stand in front of the holes because those frogs, they're. For some reason, they have a weird taste for this pink ballish character, I guess. Oh, no, I didn't mean to show you. And you can't destroy them either, see, look. Alright, let me get you. No, wrong way! Come back! No! Oh, well, whatever. I can just have to go back for it. Come back, you little penguin. I must feast on you again. Such a good thing that the creature, they just infinitely respawn. Because if that was the case that they didn't, man, I would be so screwed. I had to go right all the way back in the beginning just to just break the platform. Or get that item just to break the platform. Alright, let me just rush through this. I feel like I'm just goofing off a bit. Nope. Oh yeah, I didn't think I could go through that attack, but you know what? More power to me, more power to Kirby. Nope, you're not gonna touch this. I should just let him be frozen in the air and just wait till somebody discover him and just have him up in a like historian museum for display for all of the people to see and just laugh at him. That may be wrong, but you know what? They're trying to kill me. Oh, and these guys, don't stand above them there. They're very deceiving. Why can't I jump up? Like, look, they seem all peaceful. Ow. They seem all peaceful when they're on the same level as you, but then once you're above them, they get that demonic looking uh, expression on their face, and they try to spike you from below. That hurts me? Oh, that's so useless. I'm afraid to touch him. There you go. So once you do that, you end up gaining a crystal. Yo, Adelaine, what's going on? Give me a tomato. Good. And it's a good thing too, I was actually about to toss this ability because I don't know, I thought I was already done uh, using this and I want to show off the other ability that I've been, you know, bragging about in some of my past videos where you, if you combine the cutter and the spark ability, probably get one, if not, it's probably the best or one of the best items in this game. All about matters of opinion, but it's freaking, I guess, the most badass of all abilities. But yeah, once you destroy that platform, you end up getting the crystal. Let me toss this. Oh, if you get these Zeus wannabe, you'll get the spark ability. Come here. Matter of fact, let me grab this one. Now, what you'll need to do is wait for the cutter ability to pop up just to grab them. There you go. Once you combine these two, you get the lightsaber. Now, come on. You can't. You cannot go wrong with this ability. This is probably the best, if not one of the best abilities in this game. Cause personally, I do like the flame sword a lot, but it just—it's a lifesaver. You can't beat that. It's like it's really tough, and especially when you're in a room that has like a whole bunch of enemies, man. It's like you just go to town on them with these with this lifesaver. Aw, oh, damn it! You ruined the fun. But anyways, once you're done with that, you end up—you're done with the level. So let me try to get another enemy info card, hopefully. So I get a red star, and I'm not going to get it. No. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. I'm too distracted by the lightsaber, man. Alright, let me just continue on. And unfortunately, I'm going to discard this lightsaber because in this uh, level, you're going to need the fire and the stone ability to break one of the platform that's guarding a crystal. So yeah, let me discard it now. Actually, no, let me just enjoy- No, I gotta discard it now. There's a stone ability. I just want to enjoy it for a little while longer. 
But no, no, I gotta show it off. I gotta show you how to get to uh, all these crystals. And really, I guess there's no point in me gaining, like, at least trying to get the crystals because I already gotten them. So it'd just be blue stars. But still, I would like to just, you know, break them so you guys can see. Even though, really, all you gotta do is just see the colors that's on that object, and then you'll know exactly what you need. So, if, uh, for this example, in this case, that you would need that. By the way, let me just interrupt myself. Don't use stone on this platform, like all this bridge, because yeah, you see how it's falling apart. You will fall like a rock, all the way down and plummet to your death. I did that when I was a kid, and I still remember that. That was funny as heck. Oh, but yeah, once you get the, I think I showed us this ability before. Get like a little volcanic action going on, just shooting out these molten rocks. But anyways, let's just go up and defeat the boss. Come on, get closer. And you're done. So yeah, right here, red and brown, break it, and you get your crystal. So now we're introduced to this little water rafting segment, or I guess water boating, whatever it is, with Waddle D. No, this, now's not the time to play Waddle D. Some serious business going on, man. We're supposed to be hunting down Crystal, and you just want to have fun? Man, you're so useless. No wonder why freaking Smash Brother, all King D does with you is just he keeps knocking you away. Or keep throwing you, actually. I think out of uh, the Gordos, I think. But anyway, there's a Crystal right there. You just gotta jump up for it. It's... I won't even say that's hard to miss. You have to, like, not pay attention to the screen to miss that, and then you have to do, a, I guess, a big jump to get it. But anyways, try not to hit these uh, blocks. You notice how you get that little exclamation point right above Waddle Dee's head. Pretty much warning you, jump! If you don't, you're gonna hurt yourself. Jump, man! Jump for sweet justice! Uh-oh, last waterfall! Geronimo! I love the fact that Waddle Dee is no longer with us, and Kirby doesn't even care. He's like, well, you know what? There's plenty of Waddle Dee's in this area. We'll find one. No loss here. I probably like discard this building. I honestly don't like this building. Yeah, I'm very picky on my abilities. There's only, like I said, no. Uh, I think in the first video I said the abilities I like was uh, the flame sword, the shuriken, the what else? Uh, the dual lightsaber. Oh, and right here, this will be the last uh, spot where the crystal will be. All right, the last spot that holds the last crystal to be exact. So that kind of weird. Oh wait, let me show you two with one slide. That's G status right there. Kirby says OG. Uh oh. Come on, Kirby. Oh yeah, probably shouldn't be attempting to do uh, that little slide hit with uh, like against a waterfall. I probably won't miss them trying to do that. Let's see if I can get the flame sword. Yeah. I kind of saw that coming, unfortunately. Uh oh, damn, damn. Come on, Kirby, jump! Oh my god, I got squished. You made me lose my ability! What the heck? That's the first. I never knew I could get squished by that. I thought he just pushes you. Okay, you know, I, I guess I have to be more careful. You know, I played. I had this game for, I think, 15 years, I want to say. I think ever since it came out. And I never once knew that you can get, like, squished by that. I've only been pushed by it, but never squished. I guess it's a good thing that, you know, for anybody that's like, I guess, viewing this and you also upload videos, it's always nice doing playthroughs of a game that you have because you never know, you might end up finding something new that you never once seen before. But, anyways, let me get this enemy info card. I'm going to get it, damn it. I know I failed on the last one, but I'm not going to fail here. Yes, it's not a copy. Alright, well, hopefully this recording actually worked out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more content from this uh, from this channel, you know, just you want to be up to date, always remember to hit the subscribe button. But anyways, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.